gonna be training skate today. Boys are in there, we're getting some Slurpees. I'm, I'm not down with the whole Slurpee thing, so we're gonna have a good skate though. You guys got chips too? Two for four. We don't have these in America, only in Canada. You're blocking rather than trying to catch. I think we see your sticks not along the ice. Right? Well, I got the hell of a going on. 23 inch paddle is probably playing a huge part in that. I think so too. I really do. It's almost like you're not rotating that hand to catch that puck. No, you're literally it. just keeping your hand there. And then another thing I noticed is look at where your body's rotating right now. Look at the positioning of your body. You've got to do a, almost a full foot rotation, which you don't do. So look at where your body your body's not square at all. He beats me to the far side, doesn't he? He shoots far blocker. Hey Shaq, are you, are you picking up on that? Are you, yeah, or is probably. it? Look where his feet are pointing. Directly and at. Directly, like literally pointed here, but yet the puck's here, so, and you're giving up all that open net. And he put, and then you seal down. And then I go, I go blocking position, because yeah. I'm, I'm good, and then yeah. I decide to block. Squeeze and then it beats you. That's exactly what we're trying to avoid. Yes. Is the hands coming in. Yeah. Because, like, what the f Look am at I doing? your hands right now. You got your feet set a lot quicker on the second shot. Right here. Boom. You see how your feet are set? Yeah. Yeah, you're releasing. Feet are set. But look at where your hands are. I don't like how everything collapses. And look where your block is sitting on top of your pad. You're taking away the entire part of the bottom of the net. Yeah. And I'm okay with that. Stuck on my feet, upright, hoping to get hit. The 
female that you've been seeing in a lot of the videos who shall remain nameless doesn't have a lunch today for work so i'm gonna go drop her off some homemade bread i make some dope focaccia for those that don't know i actually used to be a baker i worked as a baker for a year and actually went to culinary school too but point being i'm gonna give her a little lunch and hopefully put a little smile on her face so hopefully enjoy it. thank you What are you looking forward to the most about college hockey? Well, first off, it's spelled uh, college hockey wrong. It's spelled collage, like uh, an art attack. Hello there. Getting back in the classroom to finish my degree. Getting back on a team where I feel a purpose and a sense of uh, of belonging, shall we say. I think that's that's one of the magical things about hockey is feeling like you belong somewhere. Practicing on a regular team that doesn't skate 10 to midnight. Working out with a team that actually has a purpose and is motivated. And play some games. I've craved that like you wouldn't believe over the past two years. Riley Moore, what are you going to do when you can't find any more ice? You only stop finding ice when you stop looking for it. And I don't plan on doing it anytime soon. What is the biggest reason you continue to play after getting cut outside of the love for the game? I think it comes from within. I think it's that internal drive and intrinsic motivated motivator of you know, I want to go and do something great I want to accomplish something I don't take failure as an option and I don't take no for an answer I want to play hockey I don't know anything but hockey because I've been playing since I was four soon to be 24 in a month and I think it's a chase too I love chasing goals I love chasing dreams I like being told I can't do something if you've ever been somebody who's commented something in the comment section telling me that I'm a nutcase and that what I'm doing is insane thank you it's honestly probably motivated me and I love seeing comments like that but do you feel you'd be ready to play in a competitive game now, yes or no? I'm going to say yes because I feel my training since the pandemic started is a little bit more intense than other people's. I feel like a lot of other people aren't going out and finding opportunities the way that I have. At the same time, I would say no because I haven't played in a team in over a year. I haven't played in a real game probably in a little over two years. last meaningful game I played in was the final playoff game of my junior B hockey career. So get a good training camp in, get some good reps and practice, get, a, get accustomed and get acclimated to where I'm playing. I think things will go well though. Brian wants to know, how do you stay determined to work out every single day? I got 23 good hours in the day, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays when we do work out, but I understand the working out has to be done and there's no ways around it. So you either work out or you fall behind. What motivates you? What drives you? I love the chase of chasing down goals. Like I've said before, I like being told that I can't do something. I like proving people wrong. I love playing the game too. Playing hockey is pretty awesome. It's pretty sweet. I love getting new gear. I love hopping on a fresh sheet of ice. And I can't do that if I'm not still playing the game and still chasing the dream. So that's, I would say, what motivates me the most. How do you keep calm during a game or during close one? Well, keep in mind, I haven't played a real true game in, I guess, over two years, give or take. I think just uh, a lot of breathing, feeling your breaths, feeling the body, just understanding that you have the components to be successful in this moment. You just have to bring them out and go and execute and do it. You know the answer to this math test. You know the answer to the equation. Everything's going to be okay. Ryland Petrick wants to know, you have great work ethic. How did it come to I'm going to be honest. I think my dad raised me right. I think my dad raised me with a work ethic of you earn things, you don't get things. If I had a dime for every kid that, and every young adult that I saw nowadays that's entitled and thinks they deserve stuff, f*** off and get out of here. You work for shit. You don't work for it. You don't earn shit. I think I saw from a young age that if I wanted to accomplish something, it was going to come through hard work. Nothing was ever going to be given to me. Nothing has been given to me since. That's just the way things are. That will conclude today's Q&A. I hope you enjoyed. If you have a question you want in this Q&A, leave it in the comment section below. I try my best to get to everybody, but I will guarantee you reply in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next Monday, Wednesday, Friday upload.